Why did Europe erase the Muslim genius behind the Renaissance? Imagine writing a book so influential, it gets studied for 700 years, but no one remembers you wrote it. That's what happened to Ibn al-Haytham. After the fall of the Islamic Golden Age, his works were translated into Latin. But instead of calling him Ibn al-Haytham, European scholars renamed him Al-Hazen. Not a villain move, but definitely a rebranding. Fast forward to the Renaissance. Thinkers like Roger Bacon, Kepler, and even Leonardo da Vinci studied optics and light using Alhazen's theories. They built on his methods, cited his diagrams, applied his logic. But over time, his name faded, and the scientific revolution became a European story. The Muslim roots? Forgotten or ignored. And let's be real, history loves its heroes. And in a post-Crusades Europe, a Muslim scientist didn't quite fit the mold. But here's what's wild. Ibn al-Haytham also explored psychology, math, engineering, even philosophy. He believed truth comes from doubt, not blind faith. And that's what made him radical. He challenged rulers, questioned ancient wisdom, and believed science should serve humanity. Sound like the Enlightenment? That's because he pre-enlightened it. So in part three, let's dive into how his forgotten wisdom could save our modern world.